Hey everyone, welcome back. For those of you that have been uh, following us, this is a long awaited update of everything that's going on here at our homestead uh, outside of Big Sandy, Tennessee. So, uh, those of you that are new, we basically used to travel in that RV right over there uh, all across the United States. We had a home in St. Louis, but we were never there. And we decided in uh, summer of 2020 to put the house up for sale and uh, look for a place. And uh, the house sold instantly before it went on the market for more than we were asking, so that was wonderful. But it kind of threw us into this um, true, absolutely true nomadic life where we were traveling without a home, without a home base. So we, uh, we explored Tennessee. That was mainly where we decided to look. We wanted to be out in the country and we found, uh, we found a place here a few months later <clears throat> in uh, Big Sandy. Uh, Tennessee. So uh, we purchased it around the end of October of last year, and we're going to give you an update on everything that we've uh, we've done on the property since then, and kind of how our our channel has changed a bit. Uh, we're now focused on more uh, DIY, homestead, motorcycles. Still have travel in the RV, full time RV living because we're still living in the RV. Those of you that've been following probably know why, because this house behind me might look nice here with the welcome sign and the uh, rocking chairs but the inside is completely gutted and we'll show you that here in just a moment so let's get kind of started and walk you through kind of the last 10 months since we uh, purchased the place so one of the uh, one of the first things we had to do out here since we knew we were going to not live in the house because it was pretty nasty inside um, the person that was taking care or, or living here um, couldn't really take that great a care of it so it was uh, unclean, had water damage, still wa active water leaks and things like that. So the first thing we, we, we did was uh, put it in an RV uh, stations. So this ground is tore up here, so you can't really see the, under that rock down, right down there is a uh, dump station. And then we put the, uh, the 50 amp connection and we had our RV sitting right where our truck was for a long time. <clears throat> We got that in in the first month so that we could kind of live here and work. And uh, then our attention kind of moved to the house, the shop, and the office. So we've got the house, we've got the uh, workshop garage, and then we've got my office, which is right here. And so, you know, since it was the last part of October and we were uh, coming up on winter, we wanted to get something where we could spend some time outside of the RV. So we started looking at getting some heat and climate control into the office and shop. Um, so, you know, the first thing we did was, was uh, got some of the electric heaters, propane heaters, the little temporary heaters to sit around. And uh, then, it, well, of course we gutted them. You know, we started gutting the house, we started gutting the shop, we started gutting the, the uh, office as well. So it was all, in the beginning, demolition work and we just wanted to keep ourselves uh, nice and warm while we we're doing that so we looked into some climate control so let's take a look at shop here so if you were with us in the beginning it looks vastly different now um, used to be a ceiling in here all taken down um, walls all taken down because they were all in disarray had mice all over in them and stuff like that so some of the uh, some of the Demolition work will come out on videos. However, around uh, <clears throat> March of this year, I lost a hard drive. And that hard drive had all of my content from like November to March. So unless I saved some of those and backed them up, they'll, they're gone, <laughs> unfortunately. <clears throat> so I'll be posting over you know the next uh, few months probably catching you up to where we are today on the update um, of what I have as far as video content. But <clears throat> basically in here, we just stripped it back. We replaced all the electric. There was some electrical problems. We got some nice LED lighting in. We put in a nice wood stove uh, and that really got us through the winter, uh, the wood stove and the, uh, the electrical things. So uh, we then also did spray foam first so that we could keep the heat in here, which was, uh, um, you know, it was a good idea because this really changed the, the comfort of the garage, our shop here. And then most recently, we also put in the mini split. 
So we've got a mini split head in here and a mini split head in the office as well. So now we got heating and cooling. So if we leave in the winter time, we don't have to worry about those temporary heaters or you know, you got a wood heater that isn't gonna get you through a few weeks or anything like that. <clears throat> So we're pretty excited about this. And as you can see, Chris has got her miter station built, which we do have a video on the miter station that she built. Um, we've also got this beast. Chris just got this in, which is a new CNC machine. So she's gonna be doing some uh, wood projects on the CNC machine. And uh, I do have some video on that that I'll share with you at some point. So that's really the garage, painted it Harley style colors. We decided not to put any walls up, keep it kind of rustic in here. We left one wall not insulated because the other side of that wall is insulated, which is the side of the shop. So our side of the office. So let's go take out, check out the office, or actually show you one more thing here with the uh, <clears throat> with the shop garage. <clears throat> so one another thing that we had to get done here or wanted to get done here. My gimbal's going crazy. Let's get this, it's this garage door. So the, uh, this garage door used to have a big bar across it. It used to be like this 20 foot sliding door. And uh, it was just an eyesore. It basically blocked that carport so we couldn't use it for anything. So now we've got it to where the truck will go in there. So as you can see now, we're kind of working on the outside here. Um, with the driveway, we're getting ready to put in uh, new gravel on the driveway and expanded the driveway from just the garage area right over here. Sway it back out there. We're going to expand it over here and then basically have a place to pull. Multiple vehicles or motorcycles can go in the shop, all of that type of stuff. Uh, we also did some uh, lighting. So you can see at the top, we did some lighting on the corners of the building. Almost all the lighting that we have out here is either dust to dawn lighting or um, motion detector lighting. That's really the garage. Now let's uh, let's go over to the shop because we moved on to the shop. We we're still doing some demo from time to time in the house, but we were ma mainly focused on getting the shop and the office in order because we knew that it was going to take a while on the house. So we wanted to have a couple of workspaces for Chris and I. Uh, I do still work full time throughout the week and I work from this office now, which was, uh, had an active water leak and, uh, we had a roofer come in and do the roof on the house and then also reflash this roof. Didn't do the whole new roof, uh, but basically refresh, flash this. So you can right, see, so you here, see we here, we've got the, uh, the office pretty much done. A uh, lot of storage and stuff in here, so it's not in the shape that I want. You can see it's going to be nice. You're going to have some guitar stuff, some some memorabilia stuff, and kind of be man cave office, man cave office, or you know music studio. Once I get done, and then uh, there's the desk where I work. So basically, we just uh, took everything out. We took a wall air conditioner out, and as I said, we put the head in in here. Um, we did spray foam on the back side of this paneling. This is Luon paneling. <clears throat> and then we, um, I had to do some framing because the people that built all of the structures here didn't really stick to any standards. So it, I had to kind of redo some of the framing. Once we got that framing done and the spray foam in, we put new electric in and then did the floors and the, and the walls basically. And so I think that's everything. We did a nice can lights up into the Little ceiling there on both ends. Uh, and I don't think there's much else to tell you about the shop. Nice, I mean, about the office. I keep calling it the shop, but my office, but also a nice ceiling fan there. So until uh, we get done with the house, the office is pretty much temporarily complete. Now, one other thing we have down here that we just recently worked on was the tractor garage. So this was where we stored the tractors, as you can see. But uh, to give Chris a little bit more space in the shop, we moved a lot of the tools out here and gave a workstation out here for me as well. So we can keep a lot of my tools that I use that she doesn't necessarily use, because she does a lot of woodworking, wood building, um, and keep them out here in this in this area. Also put some security lighting up in here. And then you can see our, our head end unit of our mini split, which we installed ourselves. <clears throat> 
So that really takes care of this office, shop, garage, tractor shop, all those things that we call it. Um, we've got that in really nice shape. So now they're just uh, nice work areas for us. So the other thing that we haven't been doing ourselves, but we did right away, was we got a quote for a pool, and the pool is nearly finished. So they will be out later today to fix a leak that they've been struggling with with that waterfall. They're gonna have to pretty much rebuild that entire waterfall. But other than that, the pool is in nice shape. And you can see we've also added, Chris and I added a canopy here. She just ordered this canopy online and we sunk these uh, six by sixes, or actually four by fours in, uh, in concrete. And then she just um, burnt, burnt them with a torch. So it's a pretty good look. Now let's go over to the house. <clears throat> so let's start with the inside of the house and then we'll come back out to the outside. We'll talk about the porch when we come out. And uh, it's, there's no lighting in here right now except in the laundry area. So it's gonna be a little bit dark until the lights uh, come out here. So let me do this. Let me turn it around. Okay, this gives a little bit more light using the uh, back camera. Um, so you can see inside the house here. We've got the door off where we're actually replacing this front door today. And it's basically just gutted. So we've taken out pretty much all the electric, all the walls. We're taking out some of the rotten flooring here. We took out the air conditioning. And we're going to put a mini splint in here as well so we won't have any vents or ducts. Um, which is nice. And uh, we actually resized this pass-through window from which will be the family room that I'm in now into the kitchen. Uh, we are moving some windows and doors, so move that window there. We had to reframe this entire back area because there was all kinds of water damage along this back wall. So we resolved that. Um, we moved both of these windows from other rooms in here, which will be the kitchen. But we've decided that we are actually going to get casement windows that are a little bit bigger than this. So we'll have to reframe a little bit here in a few weeks. Those uh, windows are ordered, but it takes about 12 weeks to get them due to all the supplier chain de delays that are going on right now. <clears throat> Once we get those, we'll get these uh, windows in. And as I said, we're working on the door right now. So we have relocated the laundry, laundry into here temporarily. It used to be on the other side of this wall. We've left all the connections and fittings back on the other side of the wall and just doing, uh, just connected to them right now temporarily. And then we'll eventually move them over into this corner. So uh, making progress, but we've kind of paused on the house right now, except for uh, the doors and windows. So we got our back door in, we're waiting for our new windows. We got our front door delivered yesterday. We're going to get that put in. <clears throat> There's the front door there. So that'll be in here in a few hours. Try to take some footage of that so you can see it. And now let's, uh, let's talk about the outside. All right, from the outside perspective, we made a decision about <clears throat> two months ago that we would continue on the inside during the fall and winter when it was cooler. I, mean, I don't really want to be working inside when it's 90 degrees with no air conditioning in there. Uh, it is nice to go jump in the pool, but we just decided we're gonna switch right now for a couple of reasons. One reason, the heat. Uh, the other reason is money, right? So as we're getting through the house, as we get to things like siding and windows, the costs go up and we are making sure we pay for everything cash. Uh, because that was part of the change to this lifestyle to have <clears throat> a a more debt-free freer living for the most part and so uh with that being said we try to purchase things at auctions from time to time and we, we've also done a few auction projects like this swing um, there's a few other things from the auction i don't see any right out here uh, to show you but also building things ourselves like the shutters uh, replacing the lighting ourselves which right now there's all kinds of uh bugs up there from night because they come on at night and we're not over here so we got to clean that up at some point but chris also redid um the decking boards with some new, new stain we'll probably have to redo that here when we redo these posts we're going to put in six by six posts going to put in new b board up top maybe some ceiling fans out here and uh that's what we're going to do with the outside of the 
the uh, porch. And let's see, what else are we going to do? Um, it came to mind just a second ago. Oh, we're going to redo the siding. So right now, the plan is doors and windows, and then siding, and then most likely the porch. And we'll finish with the outside. The goal is hopefully to get the outside here finished, as far as the outside uh, cosmetic portion of the house finished this fall. We'll also be working in parallel with that, some of the yard grading. So the yard needed some serious grading. It had some water uh, re retention issues. It had a drain under the driveway that wasn't working that we've taken out. We're gonna regrade the whole driveway because the driveway was, uh, was basically built on top of the yard. So it basically was about nine to 12 inches above grade level. Um, so it really created like a pool of water uh, against that. And basically anytime you drove across your yard, you go up over this road. And so we're gonna bring that all down to grade. You can see how we're doing that here. You see how much higher if we get right here. You can see how much higher the driveway is than the concrete here. And so we've got our base, base of gravel in here now on this side with a couple more inches to put in some decorative gravel uh, once we get that done. So I've got to get all that gravel out here of the driveway, which I've been doing. Uh, I've been renting some Mini X type equipment, maybe a Trackster at some point. But for budget reasons, now I'm trying to do a lot of it with my tractor, which it gets it done. It just takes a little bit longer. I've got the Kubota BX23S and it gets it done. So uh, the other thing that we've been doing is taking down trees. So there was lots of trees throughout the yard that we just thought was too much. Uh, so we put in a raised bed garden here and actually there was trees all across here. We've taken those out just recently. I'm still cutting them up. <clears throat> and what else we've been doing outside is uh, clearing a little bit down to the creek. So I'll show you that here real quick. We've got a creek that's down in the woods. It's a small creek. If it doesn't rain for a few weeks, um, it really becomes kind of a trickle. But a little bit farther down, about 150 feet down the creek, there's springs. We've got like two or three natural springs. So there gets to be a better water flow as you go towards Kentucky Lake, which is about a half mile if you follow the creek. So coming along here, this was all the grade from the pool. And then you can also see back up in there, we've cleaned a bunch of trees out as well. So there used to be way more trees thick in there in that little uh, thicket there. And then there were a lot of trees up in that side yard that we took them down. And I'll walk up there and show you some of the things we ran into up there. Here's one of Chris's projects that she worked on, a little uh, a Harley uh, birdhouse. It's pretty cool. And then we're gonna clear a picnic area down here to the, uh, to the creek. So we've been working on it as we get the Mini X, working on making a nice road down there. We've got some water retention down there we've got to clear up. And the, the creek's right up beyond that. So we're gonna have a nice beach area down there at the creek, make this more like a picnic area here. And then we've got 26 more acres or 26 total acres um, to maintain. Um, obviously, we're not gonna make all of it like a park, but that area is gonna be like a park. <clears throat> and then just to wrap up here, a couple things to talk about that we've gotten done so far. As, as I said, clearing out all these trees, tons of trees and stumps that we've been clearing out here. And one thing we ran into was we think there was another um, house up here, a whole homestead up here um, at the top of our yard. Uh, we also, if you go up the hill, we got five acres right up the hill up there. There definitely was a house and homestead up there. There's a pile of bricks and a foundation up there and we haven't even explored up there much yet. I'm gonna clear a path up there so we can start kind of seeing all of what we've got in that property up there. But we ran into here, you can see these nice big trees here. There's trees lining both ways. And there was a foundation here. So we think there was a, a house, an old homestead house sitting here on this area of the property. And that would have been their front yard. Um, so 
So all of that foundation that you see up there along, I pulled out with the Mini X. And so the, really the last thing that I will mention is as you can see, our RV is now on this side of the house. So we had to also put in an RV station on this side. We've got electric. I've tied in right underneath the foundation to our sewer line and then of course water. So the good news is once we get this done, we'll actually have two RV locations. For those of you that have an RV and you're passing through central Tennessee, you want to stop a couple days and uh, use the Solomon uh, Resort here, which some of the plans we'll talk about now, now that I've kind of caught you up on everything that we've done. <clears throat> We'll talk about some of the plans out here. So I talked about the picnic area down there, but this area we're hoping to finish next spring and actually have nice grass in here. We're gonna put a deck on the back of the house and we're also going to put in a bocce ball court right about there. So this will be really the nice resort-ish area where we spend a lot of our time in the spring, summer, early fall. And those of you that have RVs, just uh, hit us with a comment. Let us know you're going to come through this area. Uh, we might even pop our property up on Boondockers Welcome at some point. So um, that's it for the update. If you like motorcycle footage, dog footage, RV footage, homestead DIY type stuff, um, give us a subscribe. And we love to hear your feedback along the way here. So again, thanks again for tuning in and watching. We'll see you on the next video.